Hello guys, in this video you watch a game, how to carry on Katrina 1v9. Her team was so behind and they tried to feed every time, but this Katrina just so carried this game with her aggressive playstyle. Also in this game, she used new Korean build for Katarina. With this build you can kill literally everyone. So guys, don't miss this video. So, let's go. Okay, this Katrina will play on middle lane against Silas. It will be a very interesting matchup, because Silas is very strong in early game. And it will be very interesting who is stronger, Silas or Katarina. Katarina got Doran Blade. It's pretty interesting choice, but it's pretty good against Silas. Also, Silas got Dark Seer, so in early trades, Katarina can beat fight. The current page you can see below, Conquer, Triumph, Legion Tenacity, Last Stand, Second Wind, Revitalize, Attack Damage, Attack Damage, and Magic Distance. All good rules in early stage. Now as you can see she got level 2 faster, and now she trying to get some advantage. That was still level 1, and now she, she got level 2. And Katarina pushed this wave, so this wave will the push to her side. It will be good, but I think the Savas will get level pretty faster. So need to be very careful. Also, enemy Sixao was there. There was Ward, so now she saw this Sinzawa. And he can try to gain her. The Savas level 3. So trying to fight against Katrina. And she got level 3 too. So they just made some trade. Zawa was on the bottom side, so now he turned out to gank. So this double from him in Zawa tried to poke Katarina, but she saw him under his under her war. So this is uses gank. And now he trying to counter jungle. Your jungler stole enemy red buff. So this Zawa is mad. And in this time Katrina at a tower trying to farm this. And since Zella tried to kill this Kha'Zix, he lost his flesh and he tried to fight against Sinzawa. And he without flesh will die. And here yeah, he died. Katrina trying to help for Darius. But since Zella used a lot of damage to Darius. And now finally they got this Darius. And they wanna kill? <laughs> Oh, there was a very good double E combo. So she escaped this from Viego. And so good. But in this time, she losing creeps. Slain pushing to Tavas. And now, using teleport to the bottom lane. She got Jin. I mean, Zer Zerat. And what is there? This Tavas. Why he stay at FK? But yeah, it's fine. Maybe some luck or something. But in this time, she got some kill. And it's good. Now she's farming bot lane. Israel will come for mid lane. And it's a good trade. This Kha'Zix again trying to fight against Sin Zhao. Man, you can kill him. But with Israel, maybe you can try to fight. I think this Sin Zhao deals a lot of damage and he can kill both of them. But he don't wanna fight, so it's so sad. And now this Katrina is a recall to the base. Also you can see her summon spells, she got ignite and teleport. It's very good runes, I mean summon spells for Katarina cause ignite can you allow to kill someone on the lane and teleport can allow you to help for your team as she did for bot lane. For Katarina it's very important to get some early advantage. And with this summer spells you can do it so easy. And also flash is it's not necessary for Katarina cause she has a lot of mobility of her E and her passive reset. So now as you can see she has really so good mobility. And this is flash isn't important for Katarina but these two summer spells is very important. And now they're trying to kill this 
Zinzela, he used a lot of damage to Katrina. And they they just went bad. So so bad. Katrina at low HP. I was at full HP and this lane again pushing to his side and he will freeze this lane. That's so bad. But no, he won't freeze this lane. Maybe because there was a lot of creeps, so he don't wanna get so much damage from them. And in this time, Sinzawa again killed Darius, and this guy Darius feels so bad. He got two death from Sinzawa. So enemy team got good advantage. Look at this, Sinzawa two kills, enemy jeans kills. So your team so behind. And only she has one kill with Sarah. So now her team is not in a good position, and we have to carry this game. But I don't know so how she will carry this. But now, as you can see, ju she just farming lane. She got additional IP from this and this. And Viego. Oh my god, he was there. He tried to break freeze, but... Oh, he lost his W on the... Katarina, and she just used her ultimate ignite on this Viega. And this is free kill for Katarina. She tried to freeze lane, Viega... came to unfreeze this lane. But he lost his W for no reason, so... This Katarina just killed him. With her ultimate. It was so good, so kill. For Katarina. Now she got two kills. And... Her Darius also was against creeps, so it's so good for her Darius. Now she got Thursday shows, so this is additional move speed. It's so good, but in this time, enemy team trying to get early dragon. But it's not important, early dragons is not important. So, we still can play. It's not a huge, huge advantage, just only one dragon. And now she without ultimate and ignite, so she don't wanna fight against this Savas also give with her ultimate. So she just trying to wipe some perfect moment. And she also trying to poke him with her Q. So now this is just farm for Katrina. Also she without teleport, so now she can help for the team. And it's still be okay. This is new rune, I mean items for Katrina works very good. First you get Nature Tooth. This is very good rune. I mean item in early stage. He gives you a lot of attack speed damage for your auto attacks and ultimate with E. And after that you can try to get Divine Thunderer. So with this item Divine Thunderer you can kill enemy bruisers or tanks. Because Katrina has not any percent of damage against tanks. So Enemy can try to pick against her so much bruisers and tanks. And with this item, I mean about Divine Thunder, she can kill them because it gives you now 12% of max health physical damage. So with your E, she can easily activate your Divine Thunder and kill enemies. So this item now is very good. Also, this item gives you a lot of attack damage, health and sustain. And also this item gives you armor and magic penetration. So this item is very good. It's really overpowered. So for Katarina this item is very good. And guys you can try to use it in your games. One Thunder was Get a peek in previous patches, but it was not enough damage.
pro Van Sander calls, he can buy Rift Maker or Hextech Rocket Belt and kill enemies so fast. But against tanks, it will work not good because Rift Maker gives you some sustain, but these tanks are just trying to get anti heal, second item, and you can kill any tank because Kitten has at any percent of damage. So it's very hard to kill some tanks on Katarina. But with this item, she can do it. Also, she can buy both wrap for additional percent of damage. But with both rack and Divan Sunder, you deal, you deal more physical damage than magical. Oh, this dodge from Katarina was so good. And she survived on low HP, but there was so good play. And also she escaped from E of Silas with her E and it was it was so beautiful moment. And now I see if Kazix got some another kill. And it's so good. She feels so good. She got this bow. And soon she will get Nature Tooth. Oh this is Ira. She freeze in lane. It's so cute and now Katarina will get additional farm. So oh, it's so good. Also Katarina level 10, so if level 10 she has Oh look at this, she maxed her E instead of Q. And it's a very interesting choice. But with your E she can Pretty fast to use your E again. But it was really so interesting choice. First she learned her Q on three levels. And after that she got E on five levels. This cell was level nine and it didn't has advantage with two kills. So she can try to kill this Salas, but Sinzawa, enemy Sinzawa is missing, also... Oh, look at this, she tried to use on him her ultimate, cause she try, he trying to freeze lane. So she just used her ultimate, and now she will break this freeze. And now it's so good. Enemy Sinzawa again killed this Darius, he got 3 deaths. And he used his hero, so enemy will get first turret and full plates. Oh, and now enemy got first turret, so it's so much gold for enemies. And now your top lane is so <laughs> close. Darius can't do anything against this. Enemy Diego got so much. And it's so bad for her, but Darius can be good as front ladder. He can build a lot of tank items. And he will be pretty useful in fights. So maybe it's not so sad. But in this time, Darius tried to kill bot lane. Darius used her flash to escape from, from Silas. Oh, this predict was so close, but he missed. And now Katrina using her teleport to the bottom lane. But there was so much people, man. How can not win this game? Oh, this is a... Oh my god, she tried... He killed this Zerat. Oh my god, he... Oh my... Oh, <laughs> This play from... From Katarina. I thought she will die, she will die for no reason. But she... She stayed it a lot with her conqueror and she got four people alone. It was so insane playing for Katarina. My god. This play is so insane. I really thought she would die for no reason, but she sustained it a lot with conqueror. She did damage, she first killed the Zerat. After with her passive she <laughs> has another spells and killed another people and she repeat repeat this and this is so insane 
It was so beautiful play from Katarina and now she got 6 kills, nature 2 and so soon she will get Ivan Sounder. And oh these two people they survived. They were so close, but not enough. And they survived. But this play guys, this was so amazing play. I'm still so dumbfounded. This play on Katarina, guys, it's so insane. This really is so good play from here. Oh, now enemy... Yega tried to catch this Katarina, but she escaped from enemies. And Jin, I mean Viega, Viega died. And now he jumped in on Jin, he killed Jin, he killed Zerat and Silas. Another quadra kill for Katarina. My god, this play! She plays so aggressive. It's so unexpected play from Katarina, but she got <laughs> twice quadra kill. And this play was so insane. Now she got 10 kills. Huge streak on her on yourself. And now she got also Divan Sunderer, so with Stopwatch and Dark Seal. But this play from this player was so insane, really guys. This player made wonderful thing. This is really this micro this is miracle. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. And now she has huge advantage. Look at this. The team so behind, but she's on low. Oh, she. Oh my god. This is Legion Tenacity. Uh, works pretty good. And because she has Legion Tenacity, she survived. But this play was so insane too. She played so risky in this situation. I can understand close. Her team was so behind, and if she will play very safe. She can't win this lane. Wait, I mean, she, she can't win this game. So she she just trying to play very aggressive to try to win the game, and this works. She got insane advantage with these two quadra kills. And guys, this works. Maybe it's really a very good strategy in the so queue. If your team so behind, you can try to play very aggressive. To try to get some advantage. And after that you can try to so carry the game. Look at your KDA. And look at KDA if you hit your team. It's so insane difference. But in this time I think enemy will try to focus this Katarina. But with this Divine Sandra, look at this. This item gives you a lot of health. So now she has 2000 health. And insane damage. Also, she got Magi and Stopwatch. So it means it's very hard to kill this Katarina. So maybe with this build, she can win this game. And also, guys, you do saw this damage with your Divan Sunder. She's just using her E and it deals a lot of damage with her Dasher Tooth and Divan Sunder. And also, E has some base damage. So it works pretty good. Now Rufio team got second dragon and so good. We trying to push side lane. Maybe it's good. She has instant advantage and she can kill everyone in their team. So if this is best choice to push side lane. If you can kill everyone in enemy team, you can just push side lane and Try to get some advantage. Also, you, you're trying to make some pressure on the map. Oh. She played very... I think, no, this is not a good play from Hedrin. Because she used her ultimate immediately and Vega just used his W and cancelled her ultimate. This Vega has Mato Shibo, so this item stayed him. Haha, uh -huh. just saw this item, so I think this is 
bad moment to use her ultimate immediately. But okay, she tried to kill this. Okay, it's fine. So look at this team. Kha'Zix, even Kha'Zix got this Divine Sounder. It's pretty interesting how it will work on Kha'Zix. But I think in this game it's not necessary. Enemy team has too much squishes. That was in Zerat. And only Sinzawa with this item and Piega can try to tank some damage, but Kazix has really insane damage. Oh, this E damage to the that was, was insane and he survived. But in this time there was Viega and now he without ultimate. He survived cause he used his flash. But it was no longer. And now she can try to kill someone more. But Jane lost his flash too. And this is insane damage with her E. She killed this Jin again. And she will try to kill this Zerat. And this is double kill. Zerat is his barrier. This is strange choice for Zerat. I think this is for this game better to get exhaust for support Zerat. But he got barrier, but he anyway died like retard. And now she got also Sinjao under his tier 2 tower. So this play was really so good. She has insane damage and look at this 24 Magi stacks. So with this 24 Magi stacks she has pretty good AP ratio on her spells. Also she got Jonia. So with this item she can play more more and more, more aggressive. Look really guys, with this item she works very good. Also this item gives you AD, but you have some AD scales on your spells. On passive, on E, on ultimate. So, AD is useful for Katrina too. And really guys, this is very good item for Katrina. And this is new current build for her. Yes guys, but this is not, I think, not new build, because this build was in previous patches, but people forgot about this build. Oh, this dodge was not good and she died from Zerat. And in this time, and if Yeager will kill enemies. And... He made ace, so it's so bad. Full enemy team is alive and Katrina died so fast she got CC from enemies. She got a lot of damage. And now as I said, enemy if you they kill this Katrina, your team can't do anything and they just died. And also they will lose nature. So it's so bad situation for her. And it's can be lose. Because enemy will get nature. And if enemy will get nature at this moment, it's 80% to lose this game. And now they got nature. But this Katrin used her teleport and what she wanna do? Oh, she jumped in onto the enemies. She killed Jin, she killed Viega, she killed Sinzo. Oh my god. <laughs> this play was so risky. And this is sad. And there, <laughs> wow. This quarter kill, Thor. Guys, this is Thor got quarter kill for Katrina. And she really trying to carry this game alone. She very try hard into this game. And again, guys, she played very aggressive. Enemy team got nature, so it's 80% to lose game. So shit. Played very aggressive to try to win this game. And she made triple no quadra kill. And only Savas has Baron buff. And if you die, he will be without Baron buff. Oh, she jumped on Jin. Just insane damage to, to him, but and also she one shot at this servant and after Viego. And this Savas will die, 
And this is quadra kill and since they open the kill, Penta kill guys? Penta kill? No, he escaped. And Katinda can't use your E. This is so far. And this is oh man. Give your Penta kill. She deserves that. But you don't wanna give her your Penta kill. And also he used insane damage to the Oh my god. This damage from Sinzel was really so good and he sustained so insane, but but Nicotina got this, but this is not Pentakill. It was too late. This is, was too late, so it's not Pentakill, but it's not official Pentakill guys. And look at this again, trying to kill enemies. She got stunned from enemies. She got a lot of damage to enemies, but she sustained a lot of damage and one shot on enemy Jin. Just insane damage to Vegas. One shot to Vegas. One shot to Zera. And this Silas. He can't do anything. And quadra kill. Another quadra kill. Four quadra kills in this game. Oh my god. And penta kill. This Sinzawa again. She can kill this Sinzawa and get penta kill. Yes, she can try to kill this Sinzawa and this is Penta kill. She's not... Oh, this Darius, man! This Z Darius was 1, 4, 2. And he stole Penta kill from Katarina. Oh, God. This Darius did, did not deserve to win. Because I don't like these people. She stole Penta kill for no reason. And Jin, he wanna use his 4. And this is... Oh, was on the Katrina with his flash. He used his flash to do that. And now enemies will try to defend this. Enemies still don't wanna surrender. They think they can try to win against this Katrina, but look at this. Look at this item, guys. This is the cap. Can you understand what is this? If the cap, she can literally one shot for the team without any troubles. Anyway, Viego also got Spirit Visage. Strange build for Viego. Who tank build for Viego? Really so strange. This build full tank. Really so strange build. Better to work for Bruiser, you can get. If I get some pet. Can get Kraken Slayer, Botrak, and after Serac, this dance with N, and it, it will work very good. And you have insane damage and ability to revive. But these items for Viega, Kraken Slayer, Botrak, so important. And look at this damage to the Sinzawa. Oh my god. This is was Bruiser. I was just one shot at Zero was one shot from her team. And now this is over. Jin can dev them. And this is end. So guys, now you saw how to carry game alone. 1v9 on Katarina. This play was really so risky and so aggressive, but this works. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, you can write a comment about new videos on another champions. And now, have a nice day and goodbye.